guys and welcome back to... What the hell was that? That's too many Ryan Mayer videos, that's what that is. This little channel of 10 subscribers doesn't even have an intro. But it will. Because this channel is about to pop off. So I've been working on my 1997 Blue Water boat uh, all last winter. I didn't even actually get it out last summer due to the fact that it wasn't done coupled with the COVID and things being shut down and we, we all know that jazz. Uh, anyway, here it is. Still just a mess, just a mess. But uh, I painted, well, gel coated it. It used to be white and green and my wife's always wanted a black boat, so me being the kind of guy that I am, well, I gave her one. So <laughs> it took four times. I gel coated this thing four times. Gel coating is hard, y'all. Gel coating is hard. I think I probably would have done better with regular paint, but gel coat is so thick that it comes out of your gun and has orange peel like you wouldn't believe. So then you have to sand the orange peel off. And then once you sand the orange peel off, well, if you did like I did, you don't put it on thick enough, so then you sand through the gel coat that you just put on. Anyway, it's dirty as hell right now. And I get that, but I'll clean it up, put another deal of polish on it. The first time ever painting a whole boat, man, that is not too shabby. Um, got some, got some little love up here. Like that, I love that decal. Drunken captain, boats, booze, and booty. A couple years ago, I had a buddy of mine jump off the bow of this boat and just ate shit. So I did him a little favor and put some sea deck up there for him. Now he'll be fine. I also removed the bow light, the green and red navigation light up here on the bow. And I actually customized the rub rail uh, and put some LEDs in it. Now this rub rail was cracked when I bought the boat, so no flack. And of course it's not done yet because I don't have the rubber in here. Uh, and I'm missing some covers, but they're in a drawer over there. So they'll get put on just in the building stages, man. Uh, did my first ever wakeboard tower. So it's a forward leaning wakeboard tower by Reborn. So I went ahead and ordered that and installed that. It's actually not too hard to install a wakeboard tower. I was, I was pleasantly surprised. And then along with that, of course, we got the Bimini and a four speaker light bar setup. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's down there. Then of course the lights face forward. So anyway, I guess what I'm getting at is I did a lot of this and didn't video any of it. And then I got this bright idea to start a YouTube channel and kind of go ham on it. So my first videos are just garbage, really. Uh, you check them out if you want, just some drone footage and just me basically practicing shooting video and editing and all that stuff. and. Still not very good at it. Uh, but anyway, the long and the short is we're gonna do some videos of this here boat getting completed. I have assembly left to do. I've got these wires need to go to a switch to turn the light bar on and go back to an amplifier that I have in the back. Um, I also wanna tint these windows that should be a chore. Look at the curve on that thing. Yeah, yeah, gonna be fun. Anyway, um, 
so there's that and then there's some more interior stuff that I have to do now check this out check this out you see that interior black and gray black and gray interior paint paint I painted that interior with vinyl and fabric spray paint it flexes it's the craziest shit I've ever seen um, I'm not an upholstery guy so I just decided to paint it and I'm sure it's not gonna last forever uh, but like that one over there see it's still not done still got to finish that this paint is amazing though it's the let's see what it is it's the duplicate color vinyl and fabric and as long as you prep your surface right that stuff's amazing um, I did don't mind the barn this is gonna be some more videos that I'm gonna be doing because I actually want to turn this old barn yeah this this old barn into a bar it'll be badass it'll be badass this seat right here I had that reupholstered because there was a big rip in it and I just couldn't fix the rip so this is the only seat right now that's been reupholstered you can see the color difference but you know what it's not going to be super noticeable and who cares little wakeboard uh rack captain's chair all painted beautiful okay here's the original other than this little bit of gray that i put on there but this is the original bam to that yeah i know chintzy but that's all right because eventually it'll all get reupholstered and when I put it back together and you guys check it out, forget about it. I think you're going to be amazed. Check that out. Yeah. 1984 Husqvarna. This is when these bikes were still built in Switzerland. Left hand kick. Yeah, buddy. My son is building this bike. Well, he hasn't been building it, but... He, originally I bought it for him because he wanted to restore a bike so we tore this thing down to the frame and he painted it himself we bought a whole new gasket kit for it redid all the gaskets and then I helped him kind of put it back together he painted all the plastics this thing used to be white and blue now it's black and orange um, the gas tank had a big crack in it right here and it looks like it's cracked more so we'll probably end up having to buy a gas tank for the thing um but yeah cool little projects maybe we'll do some videos of us finishing that thing up too i don't know my little paint booth it's locked i'll have to break in there later sorry it's nothing spectacular and this place is a wreck i mean a total wreck we're gonna have to get this thing cleaned up I'm sure I was just sideways. Keep in mind, I'm still learning on this stuff and I'm just using a little GoPro on a handheld tripod deal. Garbage mess, garbage mess. You guys want some garbage? Come get it. It's about 36 degrees out here today. Um, anyway, I am going to take a look at doing some things on this boat and put together a little project plan if you will and now the subsequent videos that I post will hopefully hopefully be uh, about this boat now the funny story I guess it's probably not really funny but you see the name of the boat Miss Bombay that is based off Bombay gin Miss Bombay and you see the little queen the story behind that is my wife loves Bombay sapphire gin and we know the owner of this club and we went down to his club and they ran out of gin and it was like their soft opening 
we went there before we even knew the own, who the owner was. We went to their soft opening and we had the worst service ever. And they ran out of gin. And then they posted on Facebook that they were going to do their hard opening. And I just co had to comment and say, you know, hey, man, we went down there on your soft opening and the service was atrocious. So if you guys can clean that up, we'll come back. He sent me a private message and he said, you guys come on down tonight on our hard opening and you're VIP. So we went down there and he made sure that my wife had plenty of her Bombay Sapphire gin. And he's also the house band. So he owns the place and they're the house band. And he was up on stage doing his thing. And he said, Miss Bombay in the house which is my wife, now is Miss Bombay. So another friend of ours said, holy shit, you should put that on the boat. Name your boat, Miss Bombay. Well, I didn't wanna just do a little tiny Miss Bombay in the back. So I had somebody make up these large decals for Miss Bombay and I ordered the Queen logo off Redbubble. And then I, I designed that decal and all the rest of the decals uh, that are on the boat on a cricket machine and then had a friend of mine cut them after I sent her the vinyl. Um, what else have I done to this thing? Man, all kinds of stuff. This thing was basically a shell at one point. Oh, you know what I did? I took out the surface mount cleats and did these little flush mount ones that pull up so that they're out of the way and then I added these quick disconnect buoy holders or fender fender holders so that's pretty cool there's of course one on each corner um you know another video I'd like to do but I'm chicken shit I would love to take this boat off the trailer which that's the part I'm chicken shit about and refab the trailer because right now it's white and green. It's got green pinstriping on it and it's white. So maybe I got to get some, some courage and then maybe that's something that, that we'll do a video of later. Maybe not, maybe not even this winter. And then of course in the summertime, it just stays up at the lake. So um anyway that's it for now i appreciate you watching i look forward to doing many 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 more videos about this boat the trailer the barn bar we're gonna spend a lot of time out at the lake this summer and take a trip to the coast so i'll post all kinds of videos about that stuff um so, yeah, yeah, I'm excited. I'm super, 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 super excited. And I hope you guys are too. I would love to have you guys along for the ride. And until then, peace, and I'm out.